Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. AC Generator Dynamo Single Phase The AC generator is a device used for converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. The generator was originally designed by a Yugoslav scientist Nikola Tesla. Principle It is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction according to which an EMF is induced in a coil when it is rotated in a uniform magnetic field. Essential parts of an AC generator Armature Armature is a rectangular coil consisting of a large number of loops or turns of insulated copper wire wound over a laminated soft iron core or ring. The soft iron core not only increases the magnetic flux but also serves as a support for the coil. Field Magnets The necessary magnetic field is provided by permanent magnets in the case of low power dynamos. For high power dynamos, field is provided by electromagnet. Armature rotates between the magnetic poles such that the axis of rotation is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Slip rings The end of the armature coil are connected to two hollow metallic rings R1 and R2 called slip rings. These rings are fixed to a shaft to which the armature is also fixed. When the shaft rotates, the slip rings along with the armature also rotates. Brushes B1 and B2 are two flexible metallic plates or carbon brushes. They provide contact with the slip rings by keeping themselves pressed against the ring. They are used to pass on the current from the armature to the external power line through the slip rings. Working Whenever there is a change in orientation of the coil, the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes, producing an induced EMF in the coil. The direction of the induced current is given by Fleming's right hand rule. Suppose the armature ABCD is initially in the vertical position, it is rotated in the anticlockwise direction. The side AB of the coil moves downwards and the side BC moves upwards. Then, according to Fleming's right hand rule, the current induced in arm AB flows from B to A and in CD it flows from D to C. Thus, the current flows along D, C, B, A in the coil. In the external circuit, the current flows from B1 to B2. On further rotation, the arm AB of the coil moves upwards and DC moves downwards. Now the current in the coil flows along A, B, C, D. In the external circuit, the current flows from B2 to B1. As the rotation of the coil continues, the induced current in the external circuit keeps changing its direction for every half a rotation of the coil. Hence, the induced current is alternating in nature. As the armature completes new rotations in one second, alternating current of frequency new cycles per second is produced. The induced EMF at any instant is given by E is equal to E naught sin omega t. The peak value of the EMF E naught is equal to N B A omega. Where N is the number of turns of the coil, A is the area enclosed by the coil, 
B is the magnetic field and omega is the angular velocity of the coin. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.